But spring is here, we think. Yeah. Utahns <laughs> are about to get bugged by mosquitoes. This year's flooding is expected to bring a lot more of them. Yeah, new special Shelby Lofton takes us to wetlands in Murray, where pest experts are preparing to trap some of those mosquitoes. I'm at the Kennecott Nature Center alongside the Jordan River, and this hasn't been a mosquito problem area the past few years, but this year is different. We are going to be very, very busy. Busy for people who work in mosquito control, like Brian McBride. We are actually looking for larvae. Usually the animals that live in this natural wetland. Fish, we have frog spawn. To keep the mosquito population down. They are coming out in great number. This year, they're coming out of their hibernation state to a lot more water. Because they kind of naturally lay their eggs in flood zones, because we're expecting to have more flood zones, we're gonna have much, much more of these floodwater mosquitoes. He says floodwater mosquitoes are more aggressive. They're pretty hard biters and they hurt. On the plus side. And for the most part, they don't carry diseases. McBride says the kind of mosquitoes that carry West Nile virus, like permanent water sources and containers filled with water. Buckets, gutters that haven't been cleaned out, maybe an old horse trough, maybe even just a cup you left out when you were playing outside. Get rid of that water. Mosquito abatement teams are working to remove standing water. The problem is not necessarily the flooding. It's about the two weeks after the flooding. It's all the places that the water kind of settles. He recommends homeowners do the same. That is the prime breeding areas for mosquitoes. That's where mosquitoes are going to be naturally drawn to. The South Salt Lake County Mosquito Abatement District recommends you wear mosquito repellent and give your local abatement district a call if you need help controlling the mosquitoes. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.